Virial with a 2-1 lead heading into the second leg, the biggest match of the season for both these clubs. Uh, Lucho, Arsenal should have Aubameyang back this week, but will it be enough for the Gunners side who have got work to do in this leg? They have a lot of work to do, to be honest. Of course, Obomeya being involved and having the chance of the scoring at the weekend is a fantastic new for, for Arsenal fans and Arsenal team uh, to, to play against Villarreal. A good, a very good Villarreal who done again at the weekend with a late goal uh, to continue their fight uh, in the European competition here back in La Liga. And to be honest, uh, yeah, I think that Arsenal has got good enough and they show up during the, a few minutes, not for, for long periods, but a few minutes in the second half that they can score two or three goals if you sleep a little bit. Uh, but Villarreal, he, he will know uh, that situation. Unai Emery has got a fantastic history on the competitions. He's got a lot of experience and I'm, I'm sure that he's going to manage that with a, a good defense, being very compact and allowing the players are from like Chihuefe, Gerard Moreno, and we'll see if Baca or uh, Pablo, uh, Paco Alcácer are going to be in front. So Partey rested that the weekend for United Seminary's teams. Uh, uh, Odegaard, I enjoy, enjoy him play once again. He was uh, a little bit out in the past couple of, uh, of games, uh, so he's a very important uh, player for this Arsenal. So we'll see what happens because it really needs a, a lot of work to, to, to win this Villarreal. Yeah, I agree with Lucho. I think Villarreal will end up doing the, the, the business, uh, but I think it's going to be very, very close. And there was a five-minute stretch in, in the first leg where it was 2-0 in favor of the Yellow Submarine. Gerard Moreno is in. He scored, or he should have scored uh, a goal to make it 3-0. Burton Leno made an unbelievable save. Five minutes later, it goes down the other way, and Arsenal get the penalty to make it 2-1. For me, that could end up being the difference. So if Villarreal get caught, I'm always going to remember those five minutes and that save from Burton Leno in particular. Also, something of concern, I think, for Villarreal is that pierre Emerick Aubameyang came on as a sub, and he almost scored late in the game when Villarreal was, to Lucho's point, sitting back, locking it down, being very smart defensively. And Aubameyang had an incredible look to make that 2-2. He got a goal over the weekend. We know Aubameyang is a confidence guy. If he starts, he is going to be very dangerous. He's going to want to prove something. They're so close to getting back to Europa League final. He's going to want to be the leader to get them there. So this one isn't done and dusted. It should have been if Gerard Mendo would have scored that goal, but it isn't now and everything's to play for. And, and I'm not going to sleep on this Arsenal team just yet. Yeah, fantastic point, Jimmy, as well. Important taking your chances in that first leg and then not conceding the goal. And Arsenal have given themselves a real good chance now. They really have. Um, I, I love to see Aubameyang scoring at the weekend. I like to see that smile on his face. And I think when he has that impact in the locker room and it looks like he's coming back to, to the chemistry with the team, Arteta starting to enjoy having him around again, um, it's a lethal weapon to watch out for. Um, I fancy Arsenal in this game. But I say this cautiously, after watching what Villarreal have done in this competition, um, last game was Zagreb, um, and then it was Kiev, and then it's Salzburg. Those last three away games, I didn't expect them to win. And they went and they made those games look relatively easy. So, as Jimmy has mentioned, and, and Lucho talked about the quality of this Villarreal side, and plus the way they're coached, um, Emery's got so much experience. You wouldn't bet against it that this is a big point for him as well to prove Arsenal, you know, what, what they're missing and, and a terrific coach that he has been in his time. I think this is going to be a, a personal game for him and wanting to prove to the rest of the world that he means business. Villarreal have the quality to win this competition, certainly get to the final. But Arsenal need to be at their best. If they're not at their best, I think we could see Villarreal go through. So will Emery carve out another success story in the Europa League at the expense of his former club? We will see what a week we've got in store. Join us tomorrow at 1pm Eastern for our Champions League coverage. We will get you set for all of the action. We'll see you then.